Hey everyone, it's John here from Hatagaki back with another video. Just want to make a quick video talking about the Slavkovsky suspension is hit on Luff and also just discuss some trade rumors. Pierre Dorian uh, visiting the Montreal Canadiens game and it seems like there's been a couple instances where the Habs and Sens have been connected as well as even the Canucks in those conversations and just different trades for Montreal. So if you're a new subscriber, welcome. Hit that like button, hit the notification bell. Let's just go over the hit. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, I mean, I think it's deserving of the suspension it got. Luff's out for a significant amount of time. And while he's not a significant player, I think a lot of people have had that opinion on like, depending on how long that player is out injured, should that affect uh, the suspension? So he got a game misconduct, the five minutes uh, for the five minute penalty. And then just looking at this hit, I mean, it's pretty dirty. Just again, you see the build up here. You can see Slavkovsky. See, it's not like I think that was the biggest thing for me. Right there, you can see he's already facing the other way. So when Slavkovsky goes to hit him, it's not like he turned last second. He was always kind of facing the board. So um, I think it's a deserving suspension, and people are going to be like, I, I just don't know how you can disagree with that suspension. To be honest, just based on the. Um, spacing from the boards not really a turn it was when you see the numbers you're supposed to stop like that's always kind of the uh the message so anyway so let's just talk about let's scroll up here so some fans talking about Edmondson Savard all these guys so the, the thumbnail obviously if the Habs were somehow to take the Zaitsev contract so Zaitsev went on waivers if you guys didn't know and I think the biggest thing to talk about is like would a team take on the last two years of Zaitsev in the scenario where the Sens attach draft picks and prospects or, or, or just incentives? And it doesn't have to be like high draft picks, prospects. Obviously, the conversation with Formanton. Will Formanton get dealt? Obviously, um, there's stuff tied to the World Juniors thing with Formanton. But we don't know the information. We really don't. So... I don't know. I think the Habs could make a trade with the Sens and then involving a defenseman, whether it's an Edmondson. I know some people threw out the Chris Weidman return, but Edmondson and Savard would be the two guys that would watch out for. Savard especially being a right shot defenseman. And if we look at the Habs cap friendly here, so they have a little bit of flexibility, but looking at pending UFA, so Jonathan Duran. I've talked about Duran. I don't know if the Sens would necessarily target Duran, but other teams, I mean, I've talked about Colorado. I've talked about Calgary. I think more so the connections there, especially now with Calgary having Uyghur. Uyghur did play with Duran in uh, in junior, and so did obviously McKinnon with the Mooseheads. So it's interesting. I would also throw the Jets in there because Ehlers played on the Mooseheads as well. But those are some teams I've thrown out there for Duran. Um, I wonder if they'd trade a guy like uh, Hoffman or even be able to. I've talked about it with Edmonton. I, I, maybe Montreal and Edmonton are still trade partners here, but between Hoffman, Dadnoff, and Duran, one of those guys will probably get dealt this year, I would imagine. And maybe Monaghan. If the Habs retain some cap, Monaghan's having a little bit of a bounce back year. Uh, but I would be looking more at these defensemen. So, sorry, you guys didn't even see. I'll, I'll shift this here. So, there you go. So, if we're looking at Edmondson and Savard, those are the two guys I'd be looking at. The Savard contract, three years left, 32 years old. The only thing I'm kind of pointing towards here is that, I mean, Pierre Dorian made a similar trade for a Travis Hamannick. I wonder, Savard at 3.5, if the Sens were willing to retain a million or 1.5 offsites of at the very least, plus combining a prospect and a draft pick, I wonder if Montreal takes those incentives and goes, hey, we only, need, we only have Zaitsev for a couple more years. He's going to be buried on, on the third pair for, if as I said, if the if the ha Sens retain and the Habs take him on for $3 million for Zaitsev. Zaitsev can be on the bottom pair, whatever. Montreal, maybe they're competing well <laughs> in a couple of years, but Zaitsev will be gone by then. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, it depends on how the Habs do and where they're going to be in the draft lottery or if they're in the draft lottery. Same with the Sens because they are struggling right now. But I would say... That Dorian, especially with Zaitsev on waivers, he's probably willing to retain some cap on that. And maybe Montreal is one of the teams involved. So give me your thoughts, guys, on what you think about the Habs and Sens. If they can make a deal here, uh, I think it's really interesting. But hey, if the Sens are trying to shake things up, maybe get a forward, maybe get a defenseman, Montreal could be the trade partner here. And I think Habs fans would be down for whether it's Edmondson or Savard. If the Habs 
are trusting in their younger defensemen to develop. Ghoulies looked good, uh, even like in overtime yesterday. And uh, I think uh, Arbor season's been in full effect. <laughs> and even like Weidman's looked all right. So we'll see what happens when Matheson gets back. Um, yeah, I, I think outside of that, We'll see what else happens for the Habs younger defenseman, but I do think they could make a trade here. So I'm kind of rambling on, but give me a comment down below, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff, and hopefully to get some streams in here, more videos. So see you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace.